Welcome to day 20 of 30 days of Lightroom. Today, we're gonna to show you how to use virtual copies, which allow you to create multiple different versions of your images so you can send it all to your clients. Hello and welcome back to our series where we teach you literally everything you need to know about Lightroom Classic in 30 days. So today we're talking about virtual copies. Now these are so cool because you can actually create multiple different versions of your photographs. You can edit them differently and then export them out. This is going to be really great if you have clients. You can send your clients multiple different versions of those photos. They think it took a lot of work and they're getting a lot more like value for their, what they paid for. But on your end, it really didn't take that long. So today we're going to show you how to use these virtual copies, how to export them out and keep everything nice and organized. Let's go ahead and jump into Lightroom. So here we are in Lightroom. You can see we have six different images. You can see these are JPEGs. I can just scroll through all of them. They look really, really good. They're in a series and I wanna create multiple different versions of each of them. By the way, if you wanna follow along, you can download all these images totally free. Just click on the link right down below. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and click on our first image. You can see this is a regular JPEG. We're gonna right click and we're gonna go down to where it says create a virtual copy. You can also do that by going to photo here and down here to create a virtual copy. Boom. So we have our original photo and we have our virtual copy. Now you can see it says one of two and two of two. So by default, it's going to stack these together. So if I click right here where it says one and two, okay, boom, it puts them together. And I have this icon now letting me know I have two images here. Okay. My original and my virtual copy. Let's go ahead and click on there. It'll expand it back out. Click on there. It'll bring it back in. You kind of get the idea, right? They're stacked together. Now, there's a way that you can view just your original photos or just your virtual copies. Let's go ahead and show you how to do that. So let's go ahead right here where it says attribute. If you have your library filter view, click on attribute. If you don't see library filter, go ahead and go to view and then do show filter bar. And the keyboard shortcut is going to be this slash key. So slash on your keyboard will either hide or show your filter bar. Okay. Now with this library filter, go ahead and click on attribute. And over here on the very right hand side, you can see where it says kind, you have original photos and then right next to it, virtual copies. So if I click on virtual copies, now I'm only seeing virtual copies. Okay. If I go ahead and click on both, I'm going to see my original photos and my virtual copies, or I can turn off virtual copies and then I'm just seeing original photos. So this is a really great way to stay organized because sometimes like I like to create multiple virtual copies and sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming of like what I'm actually looking at. So this is a great way to filter. By the way, you can also get to these same exact options by going to library here and then down to filter by kind and over here to virtual copies, original photos. You can even do videos. Okay, so check this out. Now that we've created a virtual copy, let's go ahead and make an edit. I'm gonna hit D for the develop on my virtual copy. We're gonna go to basic I'm going to go ahead and make this a black and white image. And then I'm going to go into my black and white editing and just work with my black and white mix just a little bit. So I get something that I like just kind of going through each one of these different sliders and making sure it looks good. There's not a lot of blue or purple in there. All right. Now let's go back into our basic editor. And here we're just going to lower the contrast. And I think this looks really good for a black and white. So now we're gonna go back into our library module. Let's go to library up here on the top. And you can see we have our original image and we can see we have our virtual copy. Now, this is pretty cool because we've got a virtual copy. I could export these out separately, but let's say I want virtual copies of all my photos, right? And I want them all to be kind of synced to the same edit. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna click here, hold control or command so we can select multiple different photos. So we're like selecting all five now, okay? We're gonna go to photo and down to create virtual copies. You can also right click and go down to virtual copies. There's two different ways to do it. So let's go ahead and create virtual copies of these. Okay, now I have virtual copies of all of these and you can see they're highlighted, okay? The virtual copies that I just made are actually highlighted. So let's hold control or command and click on this image here, okay? And now my original image, my original virtual copy and all these other virtual copies are highlighted. So here's where you're going to start to see like, okay, it's getting a little bit complex. Let's simplify our view. Okay. I'm going to hit control or command D to deselect everything. And let's say I want to just see these virtual copies. Well, we remember how to do it right up here. Okay. Where we have our library filter. Again, make sure you click that slash key on the 
above enter or return and that's going to show you your filters go to attribute and then here i can see just my virtual copies boom these are just my virtual copies now okay don't forget you can also go to library and down to filter by kind and then virtual copies i'm just showing you over and over again how to stay organized because it can be a little bit confusing but the payoff is amazing okay so now let's go ahead and sync all these. Like I want these all to be black and white, just like this first one. So let's go ahead and click there on this image. I'm gonna hold shift and then click on the rest of my images, okay? Now here in my library panel, let's go ahead and make sure the right-hand panel is visible. And we're gonna go to where it says sync settings and I'm gonna go ahead and hit check all and click on synchronize. And it's just gonna synchronize all these images and we're good to go. Okay, so now I'm gonna just turn on, right now we're seeing just the virtual copies. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on all of my photos as well. So you can see now what we have are the original photos and a virtual copy, original photo and a virtual copy, original photo and a virtual copy. Okay, so you can see this is already looking really good. I'm gonna introduce one more layer of organization and we're gonna introduce one more edit for each of these photos just because I really wanna show you how robust this feature can be. Okay, so we have original photos, we have virtual copies, okay? We know how we can see either just the virtual photos, we can see just the original images, or we can see virtual copies and the originals. Okay, now what I wanna do is I'm gonna take these virtual copies that I just made and I'm gonna assign them a color. The reason I'm gonna assign them a color is because for these virtual copies, they're gonna have one color. Then I'm gonna create another set of virtual copies, they're gonna have a different color, and then I'm gonna be able to use my color filtering up here to be able to cycle through my different virtual copies. Okay, you're like, wow, this is getting complex, but you're gonna see with all these tools, we're gonna be able to get so much different variation. All right, so how do I take all my virtual copies, these black and white images, and assign them a color label? Well, first thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and say right up here where it says kind, let's click here to only see the virtual copies. Okay, now we can hit Control or Command A to select all, and then right here on the bottom, oh, let me just go ahead, right here on the bottom, I can assign these a color, or I can hit the numbers six, seven, eight, nine to assign them different colors, okay? So right here, I could click on red, and you can see now they're all red label. I could click here on yellow, now they all have a yellow label. I click here on green, you get the idea. Or you can hit number six on your keyboard, it's gonna be red, seven is gonna be yellow, eight is going to be green, nine is going to be blue. All right, let's go ahead and click on the number six. We'll just make all these red. Okay, so now you can see they are all red. So what's cool now is I'm gonna turn off this kind. We're just gonna make it all the original photos and the virtual copies. What's cool now is that I can say, just show me, again, I'm still in my library filter, still in attribute. Okay, we're gonna see, I wanna say, just show me the red ones. And I know that these are actually just my virtual copies because I made my virtual copies red. Okay, now we can turn that off and I'm gonna see everything. Okay, so why did I go through all of those steps when I'm able to like see my original photos or my virtual copies? The reason I assigned these virtual copies as red is because now what we're gonna do is create another set of virtual copies. Okay, let's show you how to do it. So let's go ahead and click on our original image. Controller command, and we're gonna go ahead and select all of our original images again. You can see those are all selected now. We're going to go to photo. We're gonna go down to create virtual copies, okay? And now we have more virtual copies of our original images. Now, keeping in mind that our first set of virtual copies, we went ahead and made those red by clicking on this icon. So now, because we just made those virtual copies, you can see they're actually all still selected, the virtual copies that I just made. So this is the perfect time to go ahead and click on this next color label and make them yellow. Okay, now we'll hit Control or Command D to deselect. So now what we have are the original photos are just gray, my yellow virtual copies, and my red virtual copies. So now, Yes, I can filter by here, but I can also say, just show me my yellows and I'll know that this is my second set of virtual copies. How cool is that? Okay, let's go ahead and edit these differently. I'm gonna hit D for develop on this virtual copy, okay? And what we're gonna do is just go to color grading and I'm gonna just give it a little bit like a nice blue color in the shadows and a warm color in the highlights, okay? Just a nice subtle effect and let's make our shadows a little bit brighter 
and our highlights a little bit darker. All right, and we just maybe add a little bit of color into our midtones. Okay, that looks great. Let's go back to our library. You can see we color tone that one. I'm gonna shift click all of these images, okay? Now we're gonna make sure the right hand bar is visible and we're gonna to go to sync settings. I'll go ahead and hit check none and we'll only turn on color grading and click on synchronize. Okay, cool. So now you can see all of these are synchronized together and they're all color graded the same way. So let's go ahead right here. We're gonna just make sure we see everything. So where it says color, let's go ahead and turn that off. And now we've done a lot of work. If you're still watching, amazing. Thank you so much. And you can see how cool this is. So we have our original edits, we have our color graded virtual copies, and we have our black and white virtual copies. And if I wanna see any of these things, it's so easy for me to do because now I know my gray images, that's my original photos because I didn't even put those a color label on them, okay? If I wanna see my red images, red labeled images, these are my black and white. If I wanna see my yellow ones, these are the color toned ones that I did. And of course I can just turn on my original images or my filtered uh, virtual copies. Okay, so now that we've done all of that work, <laughs> let's go ahead and export this out so we can show you how powerful this is. So here where it says kind, let's go ahead and turn off our virtual copies. I'm gonna just hit Control or Command A to select all, and then we're gonna go to File, and then down here to Export. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and rename these. I'm gonna give them, uh, let's say we're gonna go to Edit, and then I'm gonna go to, let's just go ahead and hit Backspace on there. We're gonna go to Insert File Name, okay? And then I'm gonna do hyphen, and then I'm gonna go to where it says Custom Text, Insert. So I'm gonna be able to uh, export them as the file name, and then custom text after that. All right, so let's hit done. So here where we said rename to, I wanna say yes, and we're gonna call this original color. So for instance, this is gonna be portrait one original color. There we go. And export to, we're gonna hit choose folder later, and then image format's just gonna be JPEG. All right, this is working out to be quite a thorough tutorial. Thanks for watching. We're almost done. You're gonna see how amazing this is. Okay, so we're gonna export all these out as original colors. Now let's go ahead and click on export, okay? And here I have an export folder that I've already created. And in that, I'm gonna create a folder that's called original color and then hit create. All right, let's hit open and it's gonna export those out into the original color folder. So those are already exported out. We're gonna show you everything in just a second. So these are already exported out. Now let's go ahead here where it says our different color labels. Let's click on the red, okay? And show me just virtual copies. So now these are my black and white edits. So I'm gonna hit Control or Command A to select them all, okay? File, down here to export, okay? And we're gonna call this B and W. So it's gonna be portrait one, the original file name, plus black and white, okay? We're gonna hit export there. All right, we're gonna put it in the same folder. All right, and I'm gonna call this B and W and hit create. So we have our inner export, we have original color, we have our black and white. Let's go ahead and open those up and it's exported out, okay? Now we can click on our yellow only, select them all, file, export, and then we're gonna click on color grade. So we're naming everything with the actual effects that they're on too, okay? So export these out. Or let's go ahead and put it in this same export folder, create a new folder in here, call this color grade. There we go. And we're gonna hit on create and hit open. All right. So let's go ahead and check out our finder window now. If <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, by the way. I know that this is a lot, but you're gonna see just how amazing this is. So in my export folder, now I have three different folders. Keep in mind, this is all the same images, but you can now del deliver all this to your clients. So we have our original color images here, okay? You can see here are all the original color images that we're going through, but I also have a color grade folder and I have all of the same images now with the same color grade applied to them. And I have a black and white folder and all of the same images done in black and white. So I was able to do this with virtual copies and now I can deliver all three versions to my clients. They're gonna be super impressed. You're gonna be able to deliver much more than you said. And then here back in Lightroom, you're still gonna be super, super organized 
with all of your photos, you can see your virtual copies are together. If you wanna collapse all these stacks together, we're gonna to go to photo, and then we're gonna go to stacking, and I'm gonna go ahead and say collapse all stacks. Boom, collapse all stacks. And now you can see it looks like we just have original photos, but each one of these has three. So I can open these up to show my virtual copies or close those back down. And that's the advantage of virtual copies. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. It really helps. And click on that subscribe button to get more free tutorials. Thanks again, and I will learn you later. Bye, everyone.